Now, before we dive directly into printing, there's a few matters that need our attention. The first of which being what our performers are going to look like on the printed page. For that, we'll need to start out by going to print mode. In print mode, you can navigate the same as you would in 2D or 3D mode, that being the right click, scrolls, and the mouse wheel zooms. Currently, as a default, everyone is set to uh, an X marker, but that might not be what you want it to be. So let's zoom in and learn about editing that. I can highlight anyone just as I would in the normal 2D or 3D editor. Now, if I want to change how these performers appear on a printed page, I need to use the performer editor located in the performer menu. Under here, there's a number of options. I can give every performer a specific name. Uh, I can also change their label. Right now I'm changing performer one. I could make him uh, T1 if I wanted to, and I'd see that update right on the screen. I'm gonna move him back to one for now. At the bottom, I have a few other options. Um, his marker style is what we're mostly concerned with at this point. Right now it's set to something called x3.png. If I click this menu, however, I get a large list of different options. Each one of these is a different marker available to me. I also have the option at this point of changing the color of those markers from black to blue. If you're interested, you can use this to separate different sections of your ensemble. One section could be at symbols, another section could be S's or C's. If you'd like, they could print out red on the page instead of black. I'm just going to select my last group in this long arc right now and give them a separate look for the printed page. I want them still to be X's, however. I need to go back in, because I switched modes, I'm back in the, the print menu here. I need to go back to the performer editor and select uh, a different X for them, maybe X2. And there we have edited performer markers.